Press the home button on your smart meter to get to more options. We're going to click on electricity usage. This will show us what we use throughout the day, what we used on the week, and what we used in the month, and what we used in the year. Now we're going to take a look at the SSE app, which will show us all of our usage, which I find is an easier way to see what you've used. Press usage at the bottom. It's an easy graph at the top, or you can click on the month, and you can also check how much you spent on what day, and it will give you a breakdown of that day, saying how much you used every half an hour. When I'm not using any electricity, apart from having the fridge and the freezer, plus my CCTV cameras on, my usage is around one to three pence per hour. But as appliances are on, the meter reading goes up and shows me how much I'm using. Here you'll see how much I've used each month. The winter being more expensive as we use electric heaters. My house is all electric, but you may have gas also displayed on your smart meter. Now everything in the house is off apart from the water heater, which is priced at 69 pence. This will cost per hour. I flip the light switch on and off. You see it spikes to 70 pence per hour and then goes back down to 68. Now I turn on the electric cooker. And you'll see this is at 39 pence per hour. I then decide to turn that off and just put on the electric heater, which is 17 pence per hour. I then test out the hairdryer, which is at 31 pence per hour. I then decide to turn on both heaters, one upstairs and one in the child's room, to see what both heaters would cost per hour. I have a total of 36 pence per hour. I then test out just using my PC, and it's at 7 pence per hour. It gives you an idea of different appliances, how it affects how much electricity you're using, and where you can see how much you're using via the smart meter or the app. Thanks for watching, subscribe for more, and I'll see you on the next one.